is Joey Gallo on the move? Will Joey Gallo get traded or even released? You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Listen, Joey just hasn't been good all freaking year. We've been talking about it all year long. Joey even has some words to say, and it's freaking depressing. And honestly, guys, if you have a heart, it should be breaking for the guy. I really wished it worked out here, but it didn't. Unfortunately, it wasn't a good fit. We're going to go over a bunch here in this video. But if you guys enjoy the video and you love Yankee content, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. We are closing in. Not, not, not closing in. We're far away. Like about like 790 away, 80 away. But we're approaching 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys love the Yankees and you want Yankee, consistent Yankee content, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It means the world. Thank you for all the support as of late. If you are a subscriber, it's fantastic, and I can't say enough about you guys. So listen, Joey Gallo, is he on the move? Will Joey get traded? Will Joey get released? It's one or the other. We got Ben Attendi to replace him. He's like the opposite of Joey Gallo, and that's it. Giancarlo Stanton, he's hurt. That's probably why you're seeing Joey get at bats. It's probably why Joey's still playing for us. Also, we want to trade him. And Cashman is trying to find the best deal for the Yankees. So that's why I don't think they're going to release him. I think they're just going to trade him for whatever they can get. But he's trying to squeeze the orange for all the juice that it has. However, I, I think the orange is dry. I don't think Joey has any juice in him. Quite frankly, he's hitting a buck 59 and his confidence is absolutely just at an all time low. It's at a low and it sucks and I feel bad. Let's let's read what Joey had to say in regards to his stint with the New York Yankees. Every time I see a Yankees hat, every time I see a Yankees jersey, it's something I'm going to have to understand. I didn't play well as a Yankee. I wish I had. I feel bad. It's something I'm going to have to really live with for the rest of my life. It's going to be tough. I didn't play well. I didn't live up to expectations. And that's a tough pill to swallow. Wow. Wow. I just want to go to New York and hug the guy. That's all I want to do. I want to have a cup of coffee. Me and Joey have a couple donuts and hug him. And just hug him. I feel bad for the guy. Listen, left-handed swing at Yankee Stadium. A lot of power the kid has. People expected a bit more than this, but him hitting a buck 59, what are we doing? What's going on? He even said it. He, he's not going to change his approach. He is who he is. So earlier in the year when he said that, now when he's saying this, it's like, Joey, listen, it could have been different, brother. If you just change your approach a little bit, if you choked up on the bat a little bit, it would have, it could have been different, but it wasn't. You didn't want to adjust. That's why it didn't work. Listen, look, just it's it's so upsetting what he said. I really feel bad for him. I really do. I wish it worked out. I hope mentally he's okay. You never want to joke about mental health. I hope he's good. I hope he's fine. But you know, it just it it it, it didn't work. And you know, you you have to bring up what he said earlier in the year. He wasn't going to change his approach. He is who he is. And that's why I didn't work here, guys. That's why I didn't work here. And it stinks that it didn't because he wanted it to work. Obviously, he did. However, when you don't want to change your approach, it was never going to work, Joe. It, just, it wasn't, and it didn't. A buck 59, not even hitting his weight, it sucks. It does suck. But what can you do? I hope he could go somewhere else. I hope we could trade him. I hope we do. He goes somewhere else, and he hits the crap out of the ball. He's at least hitting 200, 210. I hope next season, if the shift is gone, I hope that that benefits him, and he could hit 240, 400 on base percentage, 35 home runs, and Joey's career is back on track. And then watch Cashman next season because he'll probably be operating on a one-year deal with the with the team, Cashman next year is going to say, oh, man, we should get him at the deadline. Joey's hitting 240 over 400 on base percentage. It's 30 home runs at the, at the freaking deadline. Let's go get him. 
It's just a joke, a bad one, I know. But guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Is a Joey Gallo trade coming? It, it, it should be in the coming days. You would think. If it doesn't, I'd be so shocked. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out.